So the Canadian province of Quebec is actually requiring, by law, all palliative care centres to provide euthanasia, or as Canada likes to call it, medical assistance in dying. So even if there's like a hospice centre that doesn't want to participate in that, that you know just wants to assist people in their final hours and reduce suffering, um, that's that's not allowed. They actually have to be willing to to kill people, according to government mandate, and therefore that's upset some centres, especially those that are controlled and funded by the Catholic Church. So Montreal's archdiocese, which is like a grouping of churches in an area, right? That's what that means, under the control of a bishop. Well, they requested an exemption because it's contrary to the Catholic faith to to kill anyone. You know, human life is from conception until natural death. Um, and that's very explicit, as it ought to be. And so they filed for this ex exemption, and the exemption was denied. And I want to I, I, it's unbelievable, actually. But we'll go and take a quick look at this article because I think it's, I think it's interesting but also shocking at the same time. The times we live in. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are at CTV News. Uh, Quebec judge won't exempt church-supported palliative care home from MAID law. That's medical assistance, medical assistance in dying for anybody who doesn't know. And I highlighted what I thought was like we should look at first. So it says Justice Catherine, I'm gonna go with Pitch, even though that's probably wrong because it's probably French, found that Quebecers right to choose what medical care they want to receive, including doctor assisted death, outweighs any infringement of religious freedom. Now, first thing that stands out to me here is the conflation of medical care with death. Because I don't know how you define medical care, but it's generally includes trying to keep a person alive. <laughs> you know, it's actually healing. That's that's the point. Therefore, um, doctor-assisted death is no more medical than the mechanic-assisted death, because he's not acting as a doctor at that point. Uh, he's acting to kill you. It doesn't really matter what his profession is. All we know for sure is that he's not acting in accordance with anything that anyone could call medical. You know, unless you want to call, like, when we actually uh, kill people through the death penalty, right, and we do the lethal injection, like, are we going to call that medical care? Because if if this is, then that is. You know, like, I hope you can see the, the, the disconnect there. But instead, they're just sort of obfuscating these terms because it makes people feel more comfortable. But it's absolutely false. Um, and then they're saying that basically there's this right, this right to doctor-assisted death, which is not a right, by the way, um, outweighs any infringement of religious freedom. It's like you don't have a right to force people to kill you. You don't have any right to, to force people to engage in an immoral action. Um, no, you just don't. And then down here, uh, the same judge that we're just calling Pitch, because I, I, I don't know, and I don't do French. Pitch agreed that the law creates a moral dilemma for some Catholic supporters of the center, and that they would be harmed if doctor-assisted deaths took place there, but she ruled that those harms did not justify an exemption. Um, firstly, I would say it's it's not a moral dilemma, actually. It's just morally wrong. But there is no dilemma. This is not something that's like nuanced, that's even particularly complicated. You could argue that it's a logistical dilemma for the country um, or for the province of Quebec, but you can't argue that it's a moral dilemma because what's moral is is clear which is to say you don't kill people and you don't tell people that it's undignified to you know to fight and hang on and you know like actually live because that's the implication when you say well we want this death with dignity it's to imply that those who fight to the end and stay with their families for as long as possible that those people are doing something in some way undignified and i think that's a an evil all its own um but on the, on the moral issue, it's like there's something just so chilling about a judge or anyone trying to force these people to kill, because ultimately that's what they're doing. They're saying that these the staff at these centres, um, who obviously don't want to participate in uh, in killing people, else they'd probably be in a different profession. Um, they they don't have the right to not do so, according to the judge. Uh, that's just kind of so egregious. But 
and then here I noticed that the um, they're talking chiefly about the Saint Raphael's Palliative Care and Day Center. You know, you know why they call it that though. It's based upon the Archangel Raphael, who's the patron saint of healers. So that's why they named it that, because it's actually about healing, which again we've already been over, but is very contrary to what this entire thing is about, because it's about ending life. It's about killing. It is vastly contradictory to um, to anything that anyone could call healing. But the... And I find it kind of disturbing that there's any question as to whether whether you can morally force someone to participate in this. Of course you can't. Um, because it's not a moral act in and of itself. Uh, but because... Um, I mean... I, there are so many layers of wrong here, but what it'll end up doing is shutting down palliative care centers that were decent and with those who actually cared about the people who were there. Legitimately, that's what it will end up doing because, I mean, the the Catholic center can't just stay open and participate in something so gravely immoral as murdering people. They can't do that, so they'll shut down. And then you'll just have secular centers who are completely okay with that. And would you really want to go to one of those places? Just assume that you were just getting care and you didn't actually want to be killed. Would you want to go and put yourself in the care of people who thought that the euthanasia was okay? Um, my guess is no. And yet that's exactly the situation that they're going to be placing people in who are already, you know, in a very vulnerable uh, position. These are vulnerable populations, and yet they're being left with no real option and no option to really like live to live and be cared for by those who also share their faith. I think that that too is is an atrocity.